Today I'm going to show you how to add a MSATA SSD drive in your MSI GE70 laptop. This is the MSATA SSD that I'll be adding into this computer. It's a Samsung 860 EVO. thing right here. The so first thing you're going to do is remove the battery from the laptop. There's a little latch here. Make sure you move it to the right. And there's another latch right there. Make sure you move that to the left and pull the battery out. Just like that. I'm gonna put that away. And there are five screws that are holding it in place. So the first screw is right here under the warranty sticker. The next stick next one is right there, number two, number three, number four. And number five, just remove those five screws. That screw doesn't come off. Okay, this screw comes out. I'm gonna get something to put it in. I don't lose them. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's loose. Now let's remove the cover. So to remove the cover, you just lift up here. up just like that just gently lift it up and it just comes out like that. and now I'm gonna put the SSD there are two SSD slots the first one is right there and there's a screw right there and the next one is right here. That's another SSD, M.2 SSD. And the screw is right there. So we're going to use this one. And I wonder if that would fit. goes in just like that. Let me remove the screw first.
just goes in like a cartridge or something. Let me see. Okay, now it's in. I put it at a 40 degree angle and then you just push it down with a screw. Let me get the screw. Let me get a better camera angle. I do this. You put it at an angle and you put it and then you push it down. Don't put the screw right. Right into the hole. Push down and screw it in. Now it looks like it's in pretty good. Don't over tighten the screws, just make sure it's uh, on there firmly, but never over tighten it. So I'm going to put the cover back on. So to put the cover back on, you put it at an angle like that, the clips. You put the clips in, in there, push it in, make sure it snaps in. Whoops, I screwed up. Again, I'm gonna snap, put it in there first. And then snap it right in. Hard to do with a camera. Okay, now it's in. So I'm going to put all the screws back in. So that's the first screw, which is on the warranty sticker. The second screw is on the keyboard. Uh oh. It's right there. Second. Third screw is in here. Fourth screw. And the fifth screw. And don't over tighten the screws, just make sure it's on there firmly, but not too tight. Just gonna check. Okay, good. Um, and the battery. Snap the battery back on. So you put this side in first, like at an angle like that. And then you just snap it in, that's it. And make sure you lock that, put it to the right from this position and that's it. Okay, um, I installed the SSD hard drive on this computer and now I have to go into 
computer management to make the drive show because right now it doesn't show you see you see C drive D drive and E drive E drive is a DVD ROM drive uh, C and D drives are it's just one it's just a one terabyte hard drive so obviously you don't see it so what we have to do is we need to go to control panel systems and administrative tools and it's called computer management so from here we got to go to storage disk management I'm just gonna select MBR So this is the hard drive that needs to be partitioned and formatted so we can use it. I'm just going to set that. Yes, next. Assign it as F drive. You could assign it to whatever you want. Yes, we need to format it. Finish. And now I'm going to see if that hard drive appears or not so it is detected as you can see so on uh, this one it says disk zero that's the SSD drive Samsung uh, M SATA SSD drive it's showing now so I'm gonna close this and go back to this computer and it is assigned as F drive so that's the new SSD hard drive that I, that I installed and um, I could turn that into my main boot hard drive if I want to and I will do that later I'm gonna transfer my operating system clone it into F drive and that's gonna be my new boot drive you could do that or you could just use that as a spare hard drive it depends on what you want so that's how you install a MSATA SSD hard drive on your computer and have it enabled on your computer as well. Okay, thanks for watching.